Hi, it's Katrina. From an enormous diamond to extinct species that turned out to be alive, here are 10 of the biggest recent discoveries. Number 10. Gigantic Diamond Canadian mining company Lucara Diamond Corps recently discovered one of the largest diamonds ever found. The 998-carat gem, excavated at the Karawi Mine in Botswana, ranks among history's top five biggest stones of its type. It won't remain this way for long, however, because Lucara plans to split it up into smaller diamonds and is currently consulting with HB Antwerp, its cutting and polishing partner. The company has made headlines several times in recent years for finding gems of record-holding size. In 2015, the fourth largest diamond ever found was mined at Karawi. Known as the Lesseti La Rona, the 1,109-carat stone sold for $53 million. The Constellation, an 813-carat gem, snagged a whopping $63 million. As impressive as these recent discoveries are, they hardly rival the largest diamond ever found. That title goes to the 3,106-carat Cullinan Diamond, discovered in 1905 near Pretoria, South Africa. The famous diamond was divided, and two of the largest gems can now be found set in the British Crown Jewels. Number 9. Biggest Bony-Toothed Bird When paleontologists and archaeologists go to a dig, they often excavate as much as possible since they usually have a very limited amount of time, and in many cases they want to save things before they get exposed to the elements or stolen. So what happens is that many artifacts get put into storage and forgotten about for years. This is exactly what happened with a handful of fossils that sat for decades at the University of California, Berkeley. Then, grad student Peter Close took notice. University of California Riverside paleontologists discovered the fossils during the 1980s on Seymour Island in the Antarctic Peninsula. Then they were put in a box and Close decided to take a look for himself and found that they belonged to two prehistoric birds. Imagine a ginormous seagull with a 21-foot wingspan and serrated teeth. In a recently published study, he identified the foot bone and partial jawbone as coming from a group of predators called pelagornithids, or bony-toothed birds. Bony-toothed birds traveled all over the globe, sometimes flying for weeks at a time as they passed over the ocean. Their presence in Antarctica over a 10 million year duration indicates the bird's prolonged survival and also serves as evidence of the now barren continent once being flush with diverse wildlife. These creatures existed for 60 million years or more. Characterized by their long beaks and sharp teeth, they hunted by snatching their prey out of the water. Bony-toothed birds were massive, with a wingspan of up to 21 feet, and the fossils Close and other researchers analyzed indicate that the creatures found at Seymour Island represented the largest of them all. Based on the bone sizes, the team calculated the specific sizes of the two birds they represent, concluding that the foot bone, which dates back roughly 50 million years, belonged to the largest specimen known for the entire extinct group of pelagornithids. The jawbone, which is estimated to be around 40 million years old, also represents a huge specimen who was likely as big, if not bigger, than the largest known skeletons of the bony tooth group. Number 8. Massive Coral Reef In an era where the world's precious coral reefs are bleaching and increasingly dying out, the discovery of any previously unknown coral reef is a welcomed one which is why Australian scientists were extra pleasantly surprised when they located a massive coral reef over 1,640 feet high, taller than the Empire State Building. Situated within the Great Barrier Reef, it's the first discovery of its type in over 120 years, according to the Schmidt Ocean Institute. Researchers detected the coral reef on October 20th of this year, while on a 12-month expedition aboard the Institute's Falkor research vessel. It's one of several known detached reefs in the region and was found using an underwater robot named Subastian. Get it? The state of our knowledge about what's in the ocean has long been so limited, said Schmidt Ocean Institute co-founder Wendy Schmidt. Thanks to new technologies that work as our eyes, ears, and hands in the deep ocean, we have the capacity to explore like never before. This marks just one of several groundbreaking discoveries the Schmidt Ocean Institute has made this year. In addition to this and other coral reefs, scientists identified up to 30 new species and discovered the longest recorded sea creature, a cynophore measuring 148 feet. Number 7. 
Great White Shark A gargantuan great white shark named Unama Key was recently spotted swimming south of Miami off Key Largo. In the early morning hours of November 5th, she swam to the water's surface and her tagged dorsal fin pinged her location to researchers from O-Search, a non-profit organization that tags and tracks sharks. Tipping the scales at 2,076 pounds and measuring around 15 feet long, Unama Key is the second largest great white shark O-Search has ever tagged in the North Atlantic. She's traveled quite a distance over the last two months after pinging in Nova Scotia, Canada, where she was originally tagged in September. Over the last 103 days, the massive shark had swum 13,374 miles, according to the O-Search website. Unama Key looked like she was pregnant, and researchers believe she may be traveling to calmer waters to give birth. They hope she leads them to a previously unknown white shark nursery. Earlier this year, O-Search researchers tagged an even larger female great white shark off the Nova Scotia coast. Dubbed the Queen of the Ocean, she weighed in at 3,541 pounds and is 17 feet long. As the world's largest predatory fish, great whites can weigh as much as 5,000 pounds and grow to over 20 feet long. They are found worldwide, although spotting one as large as Unama Key or the Queen of the Ocean is extremely rare. Number 6. Sukhoi Log Russian gold mining giant PJSC Polyus recently made headlines for its claims that it owns the world's largest gold deposit. The alleged literal treasure trove of ore, known as the Sukhoi Log Gold Deposit, is located in Siberia's frigid and isolated Irkutsk region. Polyus purchased the field three years ago. It accounts for over a quarter of Russia's gold reserves. An audit conducted in October revealed that the mine contains 40 million ounces of proven reserves, amounting to a gold content of 2.3 grams per ton. Soviet geologists discovered Sukhoi Log in 1961, and the Russian government finally auctioned it off in 2017. Polyus purchased the reserves in partnership with a state-owned entity, which the company subsequently bought out. It will focus on scaling down its debts before developing the field, and has yet to announce when it plans to begin production. While the project will be a huge and costly undertaking for Polyus, with an estimated price tag of $2.5 billion, the company also stands to profit immensely. In a recent interview, CEO Pavel Grachev expressed his enthusiasm for the project, also noting that Polyus will carry out the project with the best environmental standards in mind. Number 5. The Great Fox Spider The Great Fox Spider is a nocturnal species long thought to be extinct in the UK, but it was recently spotted after not being seen for 21 years. It's one of Britain's largest spiders, as well as one of the biggest members of the wolf spider family, and is classified as critically endangered following its rediscovery. Until recently, the last reported sighting of a great fox spider happened in 1999 in Dorset's Morden Bog National Nature Reserve. The species has only been recorded in three areas of Britain, all in the warmer, more southerly part of the island in Dorset and Surrey. Arachnid enthusiast Mike Waite from the Surrey Wildlife Trust rediscovered the great fox spider after searching at night for two years at an undisclosed location on a Ministry of Defense training ground. That is dedication and love right there. Great fox spiders display sexual dimorphism, with females growing larger than males. The biggest female specimens are thought to reach a leg span of 2 inches. The species does not catch prey using webs. Instead, great fox spiders pursue targets such as beetles, smaller spiders, and ants, and seizes them by pouncing on them and injecting deadly venom. The toxins immobilize prey and liquefy their organs, which the spiders consume using their fanged jaws. The species' reappearance comes as good news to scientists, as it was not even discovered until around 120 years ago, and has only been witnessed a handful of times since. Number 4. Aguada Phoenix Earlier this year, researchers identified what they believe to be the oldest and largest ancient Maya monument ever found. It was discovered in the southern Mexican state of Tabasco at the Aguada Phoenix archaeological site, which measures nearly 4,600 feet at its longest. Built between 1000 and 800 BC, the site dwarfs others that date back to the same period. To our knowledge, this is the oldest monumental construction ever found in the Maya area and the largest in the entire pre-Hispanic history of the region, 
the researchers wrote in a paper published in the online journal Nature. The land directly above the complex is developed, and people have lived on it for quite some time, seemingly oblivious to the ancient ruins hidden in plain sight beneath their feet. In the words of archaeologist Takeshi Inomata, who led the study, the site went undetected for so long because it is so flat and huge, it just looks like a natural landscape. The team detected the complex using LiDAR technology, which enabled them to detect anomalies in the terrain that are undetectable to the naked eye. What they found was an artificial plateau sitting 50 feet above the surrounding area. Only one stone structure has been found at Aguada Phoenix, and it depicts an animal. While the site bears some similarities to architectural features of the Olmec culture, its lack of sculptures of elite individuals and the absence of other indicators of social inequality distinguish the former Maya residents' culture from that of the Olmec. Observations like this stand to teach researchers new lessons about how the people at Aguada Phoenix and other ancient settlements organized their society, perhaps adhering to a communal structure that rejected hierarchy. Number 3. Largest Cave Fish There are about 250 or so known subterranean fish. According to National Geographic, they tend to be small, a few inches at most, due to having limited access to food. But a recently discovered species, found in a cave in northeastern India, turned out to be several times larger than other underground fish, making it the largest known subterranean fish ever found. At nearly a foot and a half long, it's believed to weigh around 2 pounds, 10 times more than any other cave fish. Like other underground species who live in the complete absence of light, it lacks eyes and may be able to sense some light at best, but is otherwise blind. Researchers are unsure how the creature maintains its body size or what it even eats, as well as how the species has adapted to its extensive and deep cave habitat. For these and other reasons, scientists believe the fish may be in the evolution process, according to study co-author biologist Daniel Harries, who discovered the unusually large animal. Harry speculated that the species feeds on vegetation, although this behavior was not observed during the expedition last year. Experts are fascinated by the discovery, which seems to yield more questions than answers. Researchers are currently working to learn more and are examining the fish's DNA to verify that it's a new species and determine if and how it's related to any surface-dwelling fish. Number 2. Ancient Ivory Workshop Archaeologists in Pakistan have discovered the remains of the world's largest ivory workshop in the 2,100-year-old port city of Banbor. Dating back 2,100 years, they found nearly 90 pounds of discarded ivory fragments at the site, which is thought to date back around 800 years, a time when gold and ivory were similar in value. There were 6,675 ivory pieces total, remnants of carved pieces from the time. The newly found ivory comes as part of a project funded by the Sindh government's Department of Culture and Antiquities in partnership with the Italian Foreign Ministry. Nowhere else in the world have ivories been found in such a large quantity, said archaeologist Simone Mantellini. Based on an analysis, the team believes that the ivory pieces represent discarded fragments from a workshop that produced fine carvings and that the material was likely sourced from Indian elephants. Production was too expensive for the goods to be limited to the local market, indicating that products were manufactured for trade with China, Iran, Iraq, and other countries. This notion is bolstered by the presence of a wide variety of pottery at the site that appears to have been imported from numerous places outside the region, showing just how surprisingly interconnected the ancient world was. Number 1. Chronosaurus the extinct Kronosaurus genus of marine reptiles constituted some of the largest pliosaurs that ever lived. They are named after Kronos, the leader of the Greek titans who ate his own children to preserve his power. The animal Kronosaurus was one of history's largest and deadliest aquatic creatures. The first fossil evidence of the creature was discovered in northeastern Australia in 1899 and belongs to the K. Queenslandicus species, which was not formally described until 1924. The next Kronosaurus fossil turned up 75 years later in Colombia. Discovered by a farmer, the specimen is more complete than the one discovered before it and represents the only other known Kronosaurus species, K. boyacensis. Scientists believe there may be more species yet to be discovered, and based on the distance between the only two places where fossils have been found, 
they believe that the animal had worldwide distribution. Like other pliosaurs, Kronosaurus had a large head, short neck, and broad flippers. Its teeth were large, measuring several inches, but were also blunt, which the creature compensated for with its strong bite. Kronosaurus killed its prey by chomping down on the creature and crushing and shaking it to death. With an estimated body length of around 33 feet, it ranked on the larger end of the pliosaur spectrum. In fact, there was only one larger pliosaur, known as the Liopleurodon, but there could have been larger pliosaurs, whose fossils simply have not been discovered. Thanks for watching! Which discovery was your favorite? Where would you want to explore if you could go anywhere? Let me know in the comments below, and while you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!